Sensei Mariah Ferrisica. I've got Catherine with me. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to do a scissor sweep if your partner's not wearing a gi. This is what it looks like. From a different angle. So Catherine's in my guard. Since she doesn't have a gi, I'm not gonna grab onto her clothing. It probably won't give me enough resistance. I'm actually just gonna hook the crown of her head and pull her nice and close. I can also either grab her tricep or if her hands are on top of me, I can grab the wrist or the forearm. Next, I'm gonna open up my guard. I'm shrimping out away from her so I have enough room to load her up on my shin. I've got my shin underneath her belly and hips. And now what I can do is make sure her weight is on top of me. If she's way, way back, I'm never gonna pull off the sweep. So I need to make sure I've actually got her weight on top of me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kick with my right leg and I can either push out her knee or sweep with my left leg, just like that. Without a person, the scissor sweep looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and hook on the crown of the head, hook onto the forearm against my body or the tricep if their arm is not quite on my body. I have my guard closed at this point. I'm gonna open it up. I shrimp out, pulling my hips out from under my partner. I'm gonna go ahead and load them up on my leg. I can pull them in closer if I need to, keeping a right angle here. I don't want my partner crushing me like this. I won't have the leverage that I need. So I'm keeping a good open angle, but my partner is not super far away. After that, I can either kick the knee out or I can sweep their leg in as I kick out like a round kick and land on top. And that's a scissor sweep with no gi.